Hey everybody, welcome back. And we are still focused and we're still on the journey of collecting the entire figure run from Kenner going back from 1977 and stopping at 1985. So for those of you who are new, we're not allowed to buy any reproduction items. That means it has to be made by Kenner for those figures and it can't be made by another company. It can't be made after the year of 1985 that goes with those characters. It has to be all original. So in episode three, if you've been doing your binge watching, you know that I bought a real Vader, but the lightsaber and the cape, well, they were reproductions. And here's a snippet of that episode. I know what's wrong. And it's down here. Check this out. Vintage Star Wars Darth Vader action figure with lightsaber. Figure has some minor wear. Cape and saber are repro. Why didn't I see it? And it's so ironic. I think it's so ironic that Oh my gosh, look at it. Why can't I see it? It was too perfect. And plus it said, it said telescoping lightsaber for $24. Yeah, right. This is my first like day of collecting these. This is like, I think it's the first thing that I, I was researching and bought and I probably did a, you know, you know when you like it and, and you save it and then I came back to buy it again and I didn't read it. I, I just, you know, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it's so ironic because look at the name of the people who sold it to me. Wretched Hive of Scum and Villainy. But you know, it's not their fault. It is not their fault. I think it's just funny that their name is that. But this is all me. Oh my God, why didn't I just read this? Cape and Saber are repro. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. No! No! So today, what we're gonna do is we are going to right a wrong and we are gonna get a new Vader. <laughs> and when you want to get good figures, ones that'll make other collectors jealous, there's only one place you gotta go. You gotta go to the plastic crack dealers. And here they are, Orange Droid. So we have notifications turned on uh, to certain pages and one of them is definitely Orange Droid Vintage Toys. So instead of cruising eBay and having to set our standards like on impulse buys, uh, lately we've been letting figures and deals come to us. So it just so happened that they were having a claim sale. So we bought claim sales on this site before but a claim sale is when a seller will post items on their page, set a price, and then it's up to that person who wants the listed item to hurry up and claim it, you know, before somebody else does. And in this case, we're looking for a good Vader to put in our case, you know, which our case hasn't come yet, but I'll update you that later. Um, so we liked a Vader that they had on their listing. So now Vader, Vader's a very interesting figure. And for those of you who are watching this and don't know that much about the figures or Vader, so Kenner has made a lot of different versions of a lot of different characters. You know, we got a bunch of Leias, we got multiple Hans, a lot of Lukes, even R2-D2s. Heck, we even got two Claytus. But we only got one Dark Lord of the Sith. And I wish we would have got a version of him where he can take off his helmet and reveal Anakin Skywalker. We only got one version of Vader, and this version comes with a very shiny vinyl black cape and his single telescoping lightsaber. Now, earlier versions came with a double telescoping lightsaber where the lightsaber extended, then a thinner, more brittle piece of the plastic saber extended, but this piece was so brittle, it was so easy to break that Kenner stopped making them all together and instead, they just made the lightsabers with a thin tip that didn't telescope in and out. But if you can find a good double telescoping later in good condition today, they are worth like a small fortune. So check out those garage sale bins the next time you go because if you find one of those double telescoping baiters, you're set. Okay, now look at this. 
I mean, it's packed super nice. If a meteor hit it, I mean, if a meteor hit it, it would disintegrate. But at least if the mailman was playing soccer with my package, it's gonna survive. So this is what we are looking for. A nice, shiny figure. The cape is original. And even though, you know, the little plastic on the saber tip is off, we're looking for a good example of Vader to display. And then when the time comes to find a Vader to grade, then we're gonna have to spend, you know, probably a little more money to buy a grading version of Vader. But let's do a comparison of the two Vaders. I mean, and right away you can tell, right away you can tell that the light bounces off the Kenner Vader's cape in a different way. You know, the light shiny, it, it, it bounces off. And, and the light on the fake cape, it doesn't reflect as much. It's more of a, of a matte reflection. So the saber on the original Vader is played with and it's worn through the years. And the Repro Saber, I mean, it, it's just way too perfect. But I think the real question is, who would win in a fight? The real Vader or Repro Vader? <laughs> All too easy. All right, so we can finally check off Darth Vader and we bought him from Orange Droid Vintage Toys. So he's gonna get marked with a OD, Orange Droid, and we bought him for $32. So we can just use the fake Vader as a paperweight and the real Vader is gonna go in the collection. I can't even put the Repro Vader in this collection. If you're into Repo, that's cool. It's just, I can't put it in this collection. Oh, and, and here's an update on my display case. So I placed the order, I made the payment. Um, I'm waiting on the shipping uh, information to come to me, but when I get that, I'll update you. But instead of me having to wait for them to get built along with the rest of the orders, they said that they're gonna give me the last remaining fully built cabinet that they have in their stock and they're shipping that to me right now. So as we speak, that is getting boxed. I'll get a shipping label on it and that's happening like right now as we speak. So I can't wait to update you guys on that. And it's gonna come sooner than I expected. So that's great, great news on that one. So I'll, I'll update you when, when I get that shipping date or when I get that shipping information, all right? So thanks for joining me on this journey. Um, I finally righted the wrong with Vader, which is good. Um, and if you guys wanna join me on Instagram, on Facebook, or on Twitter, I keep my collection up to date on those so you can see pictures of where we are in real time without having to wait for these videos. Plus you can hang out and say what's up to me on those. So all of those links are in the description. But thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been a lot of fun for me. I hope you guys are having fun too. So I will definitely see you guys next time. All right, thanks. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.